Okay, I'm cutting out the uh, the skylights in the in the side panel. I've got now a, a coating of uh, both sides had a coating of uh, primer. On the, the back now, I've painted a light dark gray here for the inside work, and I've cut out what will be the uh, the skylights. Uh, not a fun, uh, not a fun job, I have to say, cutting those things out. Uh, and uh, have to find a sharper knife or something or other. But basically, uh, I want to finish them off with. Uh, I've got some corner, corner styrene. There we go. And finish off the. Uh, the skylight and that's um, so I'm going to finish off the insides of the uh, the holes with uh, with corner pieces and the backing will be uh, got some laminate uh, paper so I'll back that up with uh, with the plastic and then stick maybe one vertical piece in there as well for the window so that's the idea behind the uh, skylights. Okay, I've marked out the uh, the cut points for the uh, for the skylights on the side walls of the steel mill, and now comes the fun part of making the cuts. This is quite thick uh, styrene, and I. One of the difficulties is keeping the uh, the ruler in place because of the notches here. You can't get the ruler flat on the uh, on the back. Try that. It's not quite 100 percent. Let's try. That. All right, all your weight you've got. I've got a new uh, notched off a new blade on the knife. So careful cuts to start with, no pressure. The trouble I'm having is the skylight so close to the top here that when I go to try to break open the, uh, the hole, this breaks and I have to re-glue it. It's a fairly sharp knife and I think I'm through already. sharp knife. That went fairly well. Nothing beats a sharp new blade, that's for sure. Great thing about these is you can nip off uh, you can nip off blades every time and get a get a nice new sharp point. And I'll stop filming here and come back when I'm about ready to punch through the uh, the window. All right, I made the four cuts. The panel here. Now the annoying bit is some wheedling it out without breaking the front, the rest of the piece of styrene. Oh, this one's come out. What a nice, uh, what a clean knife will do for you. The new blade. Oh, that's come out reasonably well. There's a little bit of uh, cladding left here. Just need to cut out. Okay, another one, two, three to do. Now let's get on with it. And then I'll come back and have a look at the result. Okay, I've cut out the. Uh, the four skylights now and fit them uh, back in so I'm sticking them back in now um, and just taping them in they can go over 
this one that I've already done. Uh, a good tip from uh, internet, people like Vinny. 6951 is to uh, make sure that you remove uh, paint from any surfaces you're going to uh, you're going to glue with uh, styrene uh, styrene glue because the um, styrene has to uh, have contact with the plastic or the, the glue has to have contact with the styrene plastic to be able to dissolve it and if this paint because it doesn't actually stick it welds uh, the, the plastic together so um, it has to have hold of the plastic and if there's, there's paint in between then uh, the styrene glue can't to dissolve the plastic okay I've got the um, window sills in as, as it were on the skylights and I've painted one blue which is I think the color I'm going to use for the uh, for the sills which will match the blue stripe along the uh, length of the building coming from the colors of the logo of the of the steel company so I'll just continue on with this Um, for the steel mill, I'm going to be uh, painting all the cladding and rooftops initially with a, uh, a metal color. This, this is called an aluminium uh, paint color, but basically a metal color representing metal uh, cladding. And then uh, after that, Perhaps a little bit of weathering here and there, not too much because I'm assuming that this is a well run uh, mill with a proud plant manager, as it were, who likes to see his plant looking in tip top condition. Not like all these, some of these run down mills all over the place that look like uh, crap. Of painting the roof and uh, the sides. Now this is uh, the uh, Primer. This is now the first coat of silver going on. Silver or aluminium or metal, uh, metal color, and it uh, gives uh, not an even color, and I'm really quite pleased with that. So here's the primer, and there's the uh, first layer of silver. All right, quite a chore. We'll continue on. With it.